watching CBS2 News in high definition. Imagine surviving a massive stroke that doctors say would have killed most people. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez shows us a new high-tech treatment that uses hypothermia to improve outcomes for stroke victims. Dr. Max? Well, Christine, you know, we've all heard of people who nearly drown in icy water but survive because the cold temperature chills their brain and protects it from damage that comes from lack of oxygen. Now doctors are using that same idea to chill stroke victims on purpose. It saved this woman's life and her brain. Maria Isalis Guzman has been doing intensive physical therapy for three months now, learning to walk again. It's hard work, but Maria does it gladly, considering what almost happened to her. I shouldn't be here right now. I should have been, three months ago, I should have been in the ground. Maria had ruptured a large aneurysm in her brain, causing a massive stroke. She came to the emergency room seizing. Um, unconscious, seizing, in a comatose uh, state. Then things actually got worse. The blood spilled in her brain was extremely irritating, triggering a high fever, infection, and causing the brain to swell. Then the blood vessels in her head went into spasm. One of our team members put it like she was trying to constantly die and we were having a tough time bringing her back. So what accounts for this amazing recovery? Doctors at JFK Medical Center in Edison, New Jersey, decided to try controlled hypothermia, chilling Maria with cold water pads to bring her temperature down to just above 91 degrees Fahrenheit. They kept her there for several days, but then came an even trickier phase. Most complication of hypothermia happens uh, when you try to rewarm the patient. So it is controlled cooling and controlled rewarming. Her doctors were amazed that she survived with just some partial paralysis on her right side, but they were stunned that her brain function is almost perfect. My short-term memory is really bad, though. I forgot your name right now. <laughs> Now, doctors say there's no question that the hypothermia controlled Maria's fever and lowered her brain metabolism enough to allow her to survive. This kind of hypothermia is already standard practice for heart attack victims in New York and may soon be for stroke victims as well. Maurice? Thank you, Max.